We're taping this on a snowy day on the Jersey Shore, but it won't be long before we're gonna see balls flying into the Chicago skyline. And I'd like to think that these first few home runs with the White Sox are gonna have started right here at Reach Your Potential Training, right? Yeah, most definitely, at least for the first month. So <laughs> my muscle tone will still be there. No, but yeah, definitely, I, I've had a lot of fun here. It's my first year here at Ripped and uh, I couldn't ask for anything better with coaches like Bobby Smith and uh, Adam. And uh, you know, these guys, they know what they're doing. That's why I changed to come over here. I heard a lot of good things about him, and um, you know, it's 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 been all that I've been asked for. How did you find out about these guys? And I'm sure as you're going through your training, you're seeing that they really have a specific science to getting you ready for the season. Yeah, well, I actually had a little elbow surgery, nothing serious, but a little scope, and uh, you know, the trainer I had in Tom Jiver, Deb Moranti, said come to uh, um, Elite Therapy, and that's where I did my therapy, and then I got talking to these guys and. You know, I did a little homework. I asked a couple of people around, you know, what do you think? And uh, I heard the background about Bobby and about how he's a football player in Monmouth and, uh, you know, how he works his tail off every day. And uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. Just a guy that comes in and has a specific program for myself, uh, baseball specific and, uh, you know, for my body. And if I had something wrong, then we'd switch it up on a dime. And, you know, that's the best part about being coached, knowing uh, your athletes and knowing when to, you know, really push them and when to really, you know, settle it back a little bit so uh, his body can recoup. So now you're at this stage where you're just getting ready to go to spring training. How do you feel knowing that you put the time in here and how it's going to pay off in a, in a new situation in Chicago? Yeah, yeah, it's a new chapter in my life. I'm excited. I have, uh, I have all the ability in the world. I'm 100%, um, you know, with help with, uh, with Ripped, and uh, I, I can't complain at all. I, you know, I got two beautiful kids and a wife, and, uh, you know, I was telling I tell them all about this every day. I come home, you know, with a little limp because my muscles are sore. <laughs> And the next day, I feel rejuvenated and ready to go. That's how it should be. You got to build up and uh, break down to, you know, get back on top of things. And uh, I really can't wait. I'm going to go in spring training with some new drills and some new exercises I'm going to do because of ripped here. And, um, you know, hopefully that helps me out in the second half of the year. When you got the word of your trade, it, was it a total blindside for you? I mean, December 16th, that's kind of a, a weird time to kind of get dealt. And I know you had a lot of things going on in your personal life at the yeah. same time. Yeah, it, it was. You know, you don't really believe it until you see it. Um, you know, I knew kind of 50-50 I was going to get traded. And, uh, you know, I was. I was a little bitter at, her, at first, you know, with talking with everybody. I thought I still was going to be a red. But uh, meeting the guys two weeks, three weeks ago and uh, getting acclimated with everybody, I couldn't be happier. Uh, the Reds aren't going in the right direction where we need to be, and now I'm with the White Sox and that, you know, they picked up some guys that we think we could build a championship team with. And, uh, you know, I can't really, can't wait to see what we have in store. You're a Tom's River guy. You're always going to be a Tom's River guy. I had a chance to see the Tom's River South baseball tradition up close. I shot highlights in the spring. Can you talk about what Coach Frank means and the way they do things there it's just not a it's it's it really is a family there at Tom's River South yeah it definitely is it's uh, a lot of energy and uh, I've always built on you know the three E's I call them energy emotion and enthusiasm and we bring that every day at Tom's River South you know the kids are running up and down to stay in the game you know you never know when somebody's going to get hurt or when we need another batter uh coach Ken Franks has instilled basically the winning mentality in kids you know not only in baseball but in life um you know to go out and reach your goals and, and your potential so um, the more energy you bring to the game of baseball, I think uh, you're just one step ahead of other people. We've got some kids in this area that are on the verge of getting to where you are. Uh, we've got Groom down in Barnegat, might be the number one pick in the draft. Luca Delatri and Brandon Martorano. You know, Brandon Martorano has been working out with Pudge Rodriguez. He's a kid in CBA. What advice would you give those guys as they're about to kind of go through a real intense process of do they go to college? Do they take signing bonus money? What would you say to those guys? Yeah, I, I think when it comes down to high school kids, you know, to be frank, it is all about the money. I mean, when you want to go to school, I think school is more important, to be honest with you. But you know, as you get older, you start understanding life and you want to build for your family. But uh, I went to Rutgers. I had an opportunity to be drafted out of high school. Um, ultimately, the money wasn't where it needed to be, but I, I went to a great school at Rutgers as well. Um, the, the one advice I give the kids when it comes to baseball terms is, is failure. Uh, you know, you, you don't accept it, but you got to expect it. Baseball, you fail more than, more than you, you do uh, succeed. Um, and when you can instill that in your mind and understand that, you know, failure is a part of baseball, you know, don't take it to heart every day, which took me a long time to figure that out. Um, you're going to be better off pitching than hitting-wise. 
In this modern day of analytics, you're switching over from the National League to the American League. What kind of homework do you do? I, I know with interleague play, you, you get some sampling of American League pitching, but how do you prepare knowing that maybe there's a new book you have to learn? Yeah, I'll uh, ask a lot of questions, I think. Uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, with the hitting coach and, and with, the, with the hitters, hey, you know, you know, what's this guy's tendencies? A lot of video, um, not, not too much, but, you know, just to see, you know, the direction of where the ball's going to be, uh, you know, in the soft speed pitches, if his fastball moves, uh, you know, just depends on really, um, you know, how much homework you want to do. And I'm going to be hitting the books, man, back to school again for me. The White Sox are getting not only a, an all-star caliber player on the field, but what you do off the field, uh, you're, you're a genuine guy that gives back in so many different ways. I, I just enjoy you uh, watching your social media account. It seems like you know, you're know you quick to take a picture with anybody. Uh, anybody from New Jersey who seems to show up at the ballpark, you know, you're, yeah. you're stopping for them. That's something that's real important for the kids who are watching this, the high school kids that we cover. Yeah. What would you say is the formula for being the, the, the complete package. Yeah, you know, it, it's how you're growing up. I, I think you got to have two good parents, a good backbone, to, you know, the way they, they raised you the right way. Um, I think, you know, when if you're going to pass by a kid and not give an autograph or a picture, I think that's, you know, it's it's not a good thing. Um, you know, it's we were talking about this earlier, me and Bobby, you know, the, the difference between some guys and, uh, when it comes to kids. You know, some people, you know, don't really – try and go out of the way. I think you have to go out of the way. I think, you know, with the way the money you're making now and, um, you know, the opportunities you have, not many people have the opportunities that we have. And to give back, even with a little autograph or a little shake of a hand, you know, a picture, you know, I'll go out of my way every time to do that. There are so many stories. I want to wrap it up with just one. Uh, it's got to be the most rare combination of a day when you save someone's life with the Heimlich <laughs> maneuver and then hit a home run that same game. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. I want you to close out with that story because that's an unreal story. Yeah, it, it was unbelievable. I remember going to lunch with Ryan Ludwig, he, and he was like, "Hey, let's go. I got you, kid." I was a younger guy, and there was, uh, you know, a guy choking over there. I like, dude, that guy's choking. And I saw two ladies trying to, you know, give him the Heimlich, and they couldn't get around him. So I said, "Get out of the way." I gave him two Heimlich maneuver moves, and uh, you know, you think about a cartoon movie like it's just gonna shoot out. It didn't shoot out, and he had to get it out of there. And I mean, that chunk was huge. So, um, you know, the guy actually bought us our dinner, and uh, I went and played that night. And I actually had a triple and a home run. And I guess God was watching me and saying, you know, you deserve it. So, but it was. It was just a crazy day, and uh, I got to meet Dr. Heimlich. And um, I thought the Heimlich maneuver was invented like in the 19, 1910 or something, but it was invented in like 1973. And the guy was still living, and we got a picture. I got a plaque, and it's hanging up in my bar. So. You know, hopefully I never have to do that again, but if so, I'll be there to help somebody. Pretty incredible, though. Yeah, it was. It was a surreal feeling, to be honest with you. And you certainly deserved a triple and a dinger that night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to get too greedy, but I'll do. if that can happen every day, we'll take it. Okay, so we've got a lifesaver, home run derby champ. Uh, probably good at changing diapers these days. <laughs> this guy can do it all. Todd, thanks so much for taking the time. And uh, everyone here on the Jersey Shore is going to be keeping close tabs on you now with the Chicago White Sox. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.